Hi and welcome to video number three in a set of three where I'm demonstrating how to set up MainStage to recognize your external MIDI controller and then using that controller to change and control the various MainStage 2 functions during your performance. And I'm using a Behringer FCB 1010 as my external MIDI device. It could be any device but for this purpose we're using FCB 1010. And we have uh, just completed the section whereby we did the manual configuration of the MIDI parameters that are going to support our programming of the FCB 1010. So just to recap a little bit, what we're really focused on here is going into main stage 2 and programming these navigational buttons right here. So set up, set down, patch up, patch down, and that'll allow us to use our foot controller during the performance to be able to page through the various sets and select the various patches uh, quite easily. And what we did in order to do that is we went in to the screen control inspector here for the various controls and we've assigned the CCs that we want to use in order to control those various uh, parameters. So the next step really is to look at the FCB 1010 side of things and to then set up the controller to recognize those same CCs that we've configured within main stage. And the way that I'm going to do that is, and by the way you can do this in two different ways, you can either manually program your FCB 1010, but quite frankly that's a bit of a pain, or you can use an editor and the editor that I use is IFCB, which I've found to be a superb editor. It works, uh, it works just perfectly uh, for the um, for the FCB 1010 that's still running the factory chipset. It won't work with the Uno chipset, but it runs with the uh, FCB 1010 uh, factory set. So that is this piece of software right here. And let me just zoom in. Okay, so what we have looked at doing is assigning these navigational functions to the various MIDI parameters. And now the next step is to then choose the physical foot switches that we want to use to control our page up and down with. Now you could use any foot switch that you like, any bank that you want. Uh, for my purpose in, in this example, I'm going to reserve bank zero just for various things and then I'm going to click up and as you can see this is this emulates you stepping on the FCB 1010 with just a mouse click and right now we're in bank zero one and I think what I'd like to do is just reserve the bottom row here one two three four five for any kind of stomp boxes that I might be using within my concert so that means I'm going to use the top row for my navigational functions and we're looking at choosing four different switches to map to those same parameters and I think the best way for me and again this is just my own uh, personal way of doing it you can choose whatever way, way you like is I'm going to use uh, number six seven nine and ten I'm going to just leave eight as a bit of a spare so that means that what I want to do is map foot switch 6 in my bank 01, so 016 to my set up function, 7 to my set down, 9 to patch up, and 10 to patch down. So let's start doing that. So the first thing I do is I click on switch number 6 as if I was stepping on it. And we're using CC's in this case. As you can see the bottom editor brings you up uh, a menu with the various program control changes, switch changes, expression pedal, uh, CCs, and the min-max values associated with that. And by the way, I've got a little uh, note section here that I've just made to myself as to what it is that I want to do and how to configure those. So I've already clicked on number six. So let me say that for six, I want to send a CC, so I'll check CC. And then I'll use the drop down list, and I want to use. CC 16. So as you can see right here, sending a CC is checked and it will be 16. Now my MIDI channel is already set up for 01 so uh, it's going to send CC 16 through MIDI channel 1. So that is foot switch 7 that's already configured and I'm simply going to do uh, the same steps 
for each of the foot switches that I want to configure. So let's go to switch number seven. And I'll click that. And again, I want to use the CC. And in this case, it was 17. And that's good. And then I want to configure foot switch number nine. CC, drop down my list, that would be 18. Now it's configured for 18, and then finally I'm going to do switch number 10, check CC, and that would be 19. So at this point we have configured the various switches, and the next step would be for me to do a send to my FCB 1010 and put the FCB 1010 in SysX receive mode in order to do that. Now just in the interest of time for this video I already did that ahead of time. So my FCB 1010 is set up exactly as you see here and I'll just check through. Switch number 6 is sending CC 16, 7 is CC 17, 9 is CC 18 and 10 is CC 19. So, and again, if you remember, on 6, CC16 was associated with the setup. 7 was associated with set down. And then we did patch up and patch down for 9 and 10. So, at this point in time, our programming of the FCB1010 is complete. And the final step that we need to take is simply to do the actual testing to make sure that our programming has been done properly. So let me now go back to main stage and what I'll do at this point in time is we need to go back into our our mode area here and get out of layout mode and into perform mode. So this emulates exactly what we would be doing if we were in a concert. And I'm just going to zoom here a little bit just so you can see exactly what's going on. And out of the frame here you can't see, but what I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm going to step on the various switches of my FCB 1010. And right now uh, I am stepping on uh, 01 switch 6 which is set up and as you can see as soon as I press that I'm doing a setup and every time I press it you'll see that this light or that this uh, control button turns yellow which to say that it recognizes MIDI activity and at the same time if I press my CC7 it's jumping a set down and if I want to navigate through the actual uh, patches themselves, what I can do is I can use my uh, switch number 10, which is my patch down. And as you can see that that is patching each step down and I'm going back up right here. Okay, so that means that we've completed the configuration on both the main stage 2 side and the FCB 1010 side successfully and we've been able to map these control switches within main stage to our external MIDI device which again in this case is the FCB 1010 and for all intents and purposes we are done and that completes our programming.